All right, YouTube, this is DJ Buster B. I got the folded horns. Picked them up this weekend, this past weekend, and these things are huge. I didn't know they were that big. But the guy with uh, Strictly Hookups, his name is Rod. Awesome guy, this guy, he knows his stuff about cabinets and speaker building, he's been doing it for, it's been a long time, he's, he's been doing it since high school, but he knows this thing about angles and sound pressures and everything like that, but the cabinets are very professional. I'll just show them to you in a second. But it was a good trip down there. We talked for about a couple hours with, once we got there. Stayed there long just talking and talking about speakers and performance and all kind of projects that he's working on. He's a cool dude. We're going to get a couple more speakers from him. But uh, here go the cabinets. Check it out. Two 18-inch folded horn cabinets. Strictly hookups. See right here it has all this metal corners he puts on everything. Everything is carpeted perfect. Your handles are actually, you see how everything is recessed in right here. And I chose the option to get uh, one fourth jacks instead of um, speak on just because it was easy for me to hook these things up in parallel just because of two, two jacks in the back. But that was just the option that I chose. And here's the side view. These things are, Right now they're empty, they don't have any drivers loaded, and they're about maybe right at 120 pounds a piece. So I know it's big and a lot of guys probably might think folding horns are real bulky and heavy, but these things kick out a lot of bass. A lot of bass. Even the guy Rod was saying, sometimes he used to run four of these on each side of his DJ booth. So that's eight folded horns he used to have. He said he wanted his bass to kick you in the chest. Like if you're in like a car, you know, a car that has a Big system in and he wants his club to be like that because the bass gets you dancing and moving. But he's, you know, this guy, he knows his boxes, but this thing, they're huge. He said this thing's gonna sound great once you load them up. And I got, I got some drivers I'm gonna put into them, but I'm just gonna show you what the cabinets look like before I open them all up and everything. And these things are nice, man. I can't believe they're that big. It makes my front firing dual 18s look like small miniature boxes compared to how big these things are. Look, just if I stand up next to it. I think you see the size difference, but three feet tall, three feet deep, and I can't recall the specs for how wide they are, but you can check it on his website. All right, next click, I'm gonna open this thing up and show you what it looks like on the inside. Okay, I'm back, got the front panel off where you can access your area where you put your driver in. Is the panel removed right here. And here's the look at the inside. He has everything pre-wired for you. All you do is strip your ends, White is hot or positive and green is negative or low. And he has everything pre-drilled with, uh, trying to get the splash light where you can see it. Can't really see it in here, but he has T-nuts all around here, all around inside he has T-nuts. That's so that when you mount your wolfman, you know, everything stays locked down. So you see inside, that's the back plate and everything is sealed, all sealing, everything's all around here. But everything is precise. I mean, the, just the cabinet making right here is everything is precise. And he said he's been making these folded horns for years that he has, when he builds this box right here, it, he just has it down to, once he makes a cut, it's automatically, he knows it's gonna fit because he's made so many things, he said he can make them in his sleep. But I'm gonna, next clip, I'm gonna show you the driver. Okay, before I show you the driver, I'm gonna show you the actual driver on the website that I got for this box. Now it's a brand that some of you guys might not agree on and some of you guys will agree on. I mean, I called the tech support for the speaker and they said this thing, I gave them the specs and told them what kind of speaker it was and they said this thing actually works great. They know plenty of guys actually run this 18 inch woofer in the CERN Vega folded horn cabinets. And the CERN Vegas that they actually put them in are the CERN Vega EL36C. And he said a lot of guys have been getting great results with this one woofer and they have not had one come back or any complaints about it. Matter of fact, they're saying it's taking everything they're throwing at. So I said, let me give it a try because I still got 30 days to test it out and see if I like it. But this is the speaker that I got. It's called the New Madrid 18-inch Seismic Audio. And this speaker right here, so I can focus in, it's the 18-inch, has two 120 ounce magnets, a four inch voice coil, handles 750 constant RMS and 1500 max for peak, eight ohms, and I looked at the sensitivity. It's actually 102 decibels at one watt per meter. That was actually more than what the eminence driver that I was looking at to get and put in this box puts out. 
So I said, well, it looks like it's a little bit, puts out a little bit more. And it's 43 pounds, it's pretty heavy. And the whole bottom of the magnet up in, let me show a picture of it before I actually go into it, yeah. Yeah, the whole actual bottom, all up in this area is all heat sink. And of course it has like the vent enclosure on the top and everything, but I'm gonna try this thing out. And next clip, I'm gonna show you what it actually looks like. I got one of the drivers up here and just sitting on top of the folded horn. And this is exactly what it looks like. So I get a good shot of it in the light here. As I was saying, it's two 120 ounce magnets, which makes it 240 ounce of magnet, magnet right here. And every, looks like two or three inches, you have a vent sector right here, which is a heat sink and vent hole all built around the whole entire bottom right here. So there's a hole right there, another one there, another one there, and it goes all the way around. And you can see the bottom has a hole for ventilation also for helping cooling the voice coil. You see the cone right here, look how big it is to my finger, which is the voice coil, which is four inches. And it's a copper clad voice coil, also four inch. This thing is very stiff. It has the um, gold plated jacks right here. This thing is very stiff as far as the compliance of it, trying to press it in. But they said it's had great results in folded horns and everyone has loved it, you know, dealing with bands and on stage when they use this woofer. So I'm gonna give it a shot inside of this folded horn and test it out. Still got 30 days to see if I like it, so I'm gonna give it a shot. You know, some of you guys are gonna probably dislike this kind of a speaker, but hey, customers don't know what you're running as long as it sounds good, right? So, give it a shot. All right, guys, I got the driver loaded in right here, and I actually got a next step is to put all your, your bolts through, you know, your um, T-nuts and everything's lining up perfect. I have got to connect my wires and everything, but you see it does fit right up in here. And a tip that I do, did use was um, you flip the whole entire cabinet upside down so that the woofer just lays down and then you just screw go around all your holes and everything. Of course, you're gonna have a hard time getting to the one behind here, but hey, gotta deal with it. Okay, I got one in and I got one more to go. And this is what it looks like when it's fully mounted in. And just gotta put the cover on and the plate and that's it for this one.